must-have skills number 14. Let's talk about split times. What's a split time, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you if you don't know. Boom, boom. The split time is the time measured from one shot to the next. That is done with a shot timer, and that is a pretty simple way of looking at it. Why do we want to know that? Well, before we talk about that, let's talk about measurements in general. Mm, here's a good example. This measures weight, right? Measures the weight of an object or objects. We may have something like a tape measure, right? This one is in uh, standard inches and feet. So if I told you there are 12 inches in a foot and you said that, you'd be, yeah, right. If I told you there are 5,280 of those feet in one mile, you'd be correct, right? What if I told you there were 16 ounces in a pound, right? Basic stuff, why do we use measurements? Well, to achieve some objective, right? We use measurements so that we can cut something to the correct length, so that we can measure the distance between two points to maybe stake off property as a surveyor would do. We use measurements so we end up with the, the correct uh, uh, amount of flour in cake or whatever. Measurements that a shot timer give us gives us are only valuable if we attach them to some meaningful goal. So split times. Somebody posed the question, a, a good follower of ours said, uh, split times that are exacting, meaning boom, 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 indicate something to do with a good shooter. I propose that they have nothing to do with a good shooter because I could hand a four-year-old this rubber uh, replica of a gun and say, pull this to the clap of my hands. And that four-year-old would go like this. Conversely, if we gave that four-year-old a water pistol and I said, pull the trigger on the water pistol to the clap of my hands, or, or that four-year-old could go bloop, 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 and shoot a little stream of water out, right? Now that four-year-old becomes old enough to shoot a real gun, we'll give him something easy. Maybe he's a 12-year-old boy now. Give him this 22 revolver, and this one's empty, but I said, I want you to pull the trigger like this. Boom, 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 boom. That doesn't make a good shooter. It makes somebody able to keep time. What's happening when those rounds leave the gun is is equally, no, it's paramount to what's happening. Your ability to keep time <laughs> might sound good at a match or on a shot timer. See the cadence of a shot if you're shooting a drill like a bill drill. Having a tight and proper cadence, boom, 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 means that you are, are taking advantage of the available time. What do I mean by that? Okay, say you wanna shoot a bill drill in two seconds. Uh, that means you got to draw the gun and fire six rounds into the A zone of a target at seven yards in two seconds, if that was your elapsed time. So say you drew the gun in one second, got a sight picture and fired. That leaves you, what, one second to fire five more shots. So if you divide that up, you know that you need a certain split time, which is .20, right? Boom, 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 boom. That means you need to fire the final five shots in one second. So if you went boom, boom, big pause, then boom, 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 you know that you would not be efficiently using that time. That's what a shot, a shot timer is telling you. It's helping you extrapolate what you're doing with the gun to achieve some objective, which is a drill. Don't assume some bad guy is going to stand there and let you go 20, uh, boom, 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 2-0 splits into his chest, going to transition to the face with a 1-5 split robot, and the bad guy is going to stand there. That, that is a metric of your ability to press the trigger. Now you've got to, to ascertain is your grip, your body posture, your physicality, your bone structure, your ability to align the sights or dot, ultimately the bore with whatever needs a hole in it. Can you do that and go boom, 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 boom. I didn't reset that one trigger press all the way. Did you hear that? Too bad it wasn't on purpose. It was on accident. But that's what it comes down to. It's not, can you just press the trigger like a metronome, like a drummer? 
Dun, 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 dun. That's meaningless. Because for one, in a fight, bad guy's probably not gonna stand there and just let you do that. For two, if you're looking at it just from your ability to keep a cadence, you're forgetting that those rounds that are making the boom, that the shots picking up, need to hit whatever needs hitting. As such, don't worry about that kind of shit if you are having trouble making a nice tight group. So for years, I've done and done many videos. I'm looking around. I've always got these laying around. Here we go, perfect. Look at that, it just so happened to have it prepared. So there's your A zone I talked about for the build drill. A regular, uh, good old fashioned post-it note. So check that out, three inch by three inch. Good finite target, not just some spray and pray bullshit. So here's where you can start utilizing a uh, shot timer. Get your shot timer, measure off a distance. Arbitrary, I don't care. Let's say uh, if you're a really good shooter, you're probably not listening to this, so um, don't take that as an insult. If you're a really good shooter, you don't need to listen to this. But if you're still trying to develop these skills, let's just say that's your target. So as an arbitrary drill for you to start out, we'll go uh, four yards, four yards, right? that's a whopping 12 feet away from the target, the width of a room. And I just want you to dry fire. I've got my empty Langdon Beretta compact. This thing's so sexy. And I want you to dry fire at that target. Do your draw stroke, get a sight picture. So when you dry fire, dry fire like you'd be doing it. I'm gonna kind of squat down so you can kind of see me. So you're gonna draw, mount the gun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a final sight picture if that's what you want to do. So by the way, side note, when you dry fire, dry fire as if you're doing it for real. Draw that gun, mount it, get a sight picture and press through. Your grip should be consistent. Your grip should be rock solid. Watch your sights. Are they aligned? Is that front sight aligned in the rear notch? Equal height, equal light? Is that front sight bouncing all over? Or can you keep it centered on the pink? Mick, dry fire is not the same as live fire because there's no recoil. News flash. Recoil happens after the shot goes off. Recoil has nothing to do with the bullet coming out of the barrel. It happens after. So, boom. I'm exaggerating the movement. All of that happened after the bullet was already gone. So, your job. Now we've loaded the gun up, we're at the range for real, we're at four yards, we're gonna shoot six from the holster, draw a mount, boom, back, boom, back, boom, back, right? You're just, your whole job in the whole wide world is to run that sight back to the target. So, must have skill number 14, which this ties into other twofold. One, don't get wrapped around shit like this, muy importante. Yes, it tells you, this is the measurement to tell you how many feet are in a mile, how many ounces are in a pound, or what the object that you're weighing is. This is the measurement for that. But the measurement alone is meaningless, it's numbers. If that number of 0.11 from shot to shot, which would be crazy fast, or one second apart, doesn't equate to rounds impacting where you want them to, or in the bad guy's chest or face, who freaking cares? how timing works out. So your job, should you choose to accept it, <laughs> see your sights, maintain grip, press the trigger straight to the rear, and have a plan when you are training. Must have skill number 14. Don't go to the range using tools without knowing what they're for. Once you know what they're for, use them with intention. Look, if your goal is just to see how fast your splits can be, get firecrackers. If your goal is to drive rounds with purpose at a high rate of speed, controlled into finite targets, use a shot timer, but make sure that you're doing it with fundamentals in mind, with a will to train to win, and then apply all that in your training. This is Mickey with carrytrainer.com. Don't get wrapped around the axle on shit that does not matter. If you carry a gun to protect yourself or those that you are sworn to protect, train with intention, train with purpose, train with the knowledge that everything that you put in, in dry fire on the training range in your daily thoughts is what you will get as an output at best. Don't wrap yourself around that which does not matter. Plan to win, train to win, and then go out and win. Be good.
Don't be a dickhead. Nobody likes dickheads. Like literally nobody, nobody, nobody likes dickheads. Trust me, I was a dickhead once. Thank <laughs> you.